here with the great Mike Stern. Uh, you just did a fantastic clinic. It was a great vibe. People loved it. Um, you have just collaborated with so many legendary artists. And I guess I just kind of want to start off by asking you about your collaborative spirit and how important that is to making music for yourself. For me, that's like a lot of, of what I live for, man, is to, to learn, just to learn. I mean, I'm, I'm always kind of uh, checking out different guitar players who, who may not be particularly well known or bass players or horn players around New York or, or when I was in Boston, around, you know, just trying to learn from them and they all kick my ass most of the time I mean I really it's amazing how uh, I, I'm I feel very fortunate to, to, to be in a position where I lucked out in some ways was in the right place at the right time and and you know had enough of my stuff together because I practiced really hard to be able to play with somebody like Miles and mm -hmm. and or Jocko and all these people that I got a chance to play with but uh, and and uh, uh, but but I find like some some musicians that n n, you know barely haven't gotten the same breaks who are phenomenal mm. like amazing and uh, so I I try to collaborate on all different levels but it's really been fun like lately uh, doing that uh, the last record I I did was with Eric Johnson with yes a, a collaboration with Eric Johnson that Eclectic. was big time fun man mm. that was so much fun actually I want to ask you about that um, just about the different styles and how he worked because I know that like Eric Johnson he's kind of like a clean very progressive style you got the jazz element fused with the progressive element how was it like I mean working with the progressive side the progressive artists as opposed to jazz or you know? well you know Eric and I come from a, 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 we have a lot of common ground mm -hmm. like and and so we already knew that that we would do would somehow we'd find some stuff that would be cool to play yeah. and uh, and he's a big jazz fan he's a big West Montgomery fan he's got a you know some jazz really straight up you know arch top Fat guitars, you know, jazz mm -hmm. guitars. He plays the hell out of them, you know? <laughs> and uh, it's something that he doesn't. You hear it on his records, but but uh, and and it's great always on his records. But he can he's really into that, and he's also a great just rocker, you know. I mean, oh, just yeah. he's got very much his own style. Just an incredible, incredibly wonderful musician, I think. And and just uh, you feel his heart. He's so passionate about it, about the sound. Mm -hmm. of, of the instrument, what, the, what he needs to hear, what he wants to hear. Uh, yeah. it's, it's really, really beautiful. The way he gets it, you know, he's, he's, he, gets, he can get so wrapped up in, like, changing the pots on the guitar. Like, I'd come over to the studio when we were recording, and uh, where's Eric? Well, he's upstairs messing around with a pot on his on the uh, guitar, you know, a potentiometer yeah. on the guitar, like to try to get it just so. <laughs> he's you a know. tone fr like freak, freak, right? <laughs> freak. I mean, you don't even know how, how much. And he, and, uh, and he plays just great. And plus, he, his singing songwriting mm -hmm. is cool, amazing. Oh, yeah. I mean, really, really on the, just a whole other thing that he does so well. Acoustic guitar and him, that's all. <laughs> he's doing a lot of touring like that recently. Yeah. Um, yeah. Excellent. I hope we do a, another record and I hope we do some more stuff. That would, I would love to hear that. Me I'm too. looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I get this a lot, but I, I got to ask you about working with the great Miles Davis. I mean, that was a great experience to work with Miles. It was, uh, I mean, he was, uh, uh, you know, I was saying this up in the clinic that we were just doing. He's very gut level kind of genius. You know, he used to just follow, follow his heart in some ways. And if yeah. if something looked right, if something sounded kind of with a right vibe, he would, you know, he put a band together like that. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily reputation or, or uh, he'd hear about somebody from somebody else maybe, but he'd go check him out and if it got his, you know, he was, he, it's like what, whatever got his heart, he'd yeah. follow. But he had the guts and the, and the, and the concentration and all the, and the spirit to, to like keep evolving uh, yeah. or changing the music of the, whatever was kind of of the time, you know, mm -hmm. and then changing that up. 
Well, I think uh, it's funny that you, you mentioned that, uh, so like you have amazing jazz chops, but I think you once mentioned that he told you to just rip it like Hendrix. Yeah, yeah, he <laughs> loved that, man. He loved that about the guitar. And uh, yeah, he wanted to hear a lot of that. Yeah. He, he dug the guitar in general. He had a flying V. Oh, at, at his house. I actually didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, he had a flying V. I was surprised as hell when I saw it. Too. That's so. That's funny. <laughs> but he was just into the instrument, and uh, but he was just a soulful cat, very soulful, and very, very uh, logical in some ways. The way he'd make music work, mm -hmm. and, and and still have his own sound. Like he would change all the stuff around him, mm -hmm. but it would still be Miles Davis playing. You know yeah. what I mean? You could hear him throughout that, and if it was Bitches Brew, which is kind of more of a, you know, electric thing, or, yeah. or kind of blue, which was kind of more acoustic, which was much more acoustic. Uh, it, it was always Miles, you know, oh, yeah. he would find different things, and then he was, he would have done more. It was, it's it's mm. too bad we lost him mm -hmm. relatively young, but boy, he yeah. sure made a lot of great music. I kind of feel bad segueing from that to you know, how you work with the, the great Jocko Pistorius, yeah, another, another legend, but an amazing, amazing musician. And you guys just vibe together. What is it like kind of vibing with a musician like that? Wow, it was, for me, it was incredible. God, at first, when I heard him, I was just amazed. That was years before he was kind of on the scene. I got a chance to hear him. I was just in Florida with some friends, just hanging out. And I heard him, and I was into playing guitar, and I was going to go to Berkeley and mm -hmm. study. And I heard him playing at this rock club as a just this trio uh, in between the rock band when they were singing and doing all that. And then in between, Jocko played with his trio, or with maybe it was the drummer's trio or something. But mm -hmm. I heard Jocko, and I went, holy moly, who is that? So yeah. that's the first time I met him. The second time I heard him, he was playing with Pat Metheny mm. at the little tiny club in Boston. And Pat was saying, "Man, you got to come and hear this cat." And I went in, and I, uh, and I went up to him. And I said, "Man, you sound amazing. You know, you look for me." He said, "Yeah, yeah, I remember you from the Flying Machine, man. <laughs> that, was, that was the club where where I met him wow. about three years before. I mean, out of I, I barely introduced myself, and he said he had a photographic memory, mm -hmm. Jocko." And he said, yeah, I remember from the flying machine, man. Yeah, man, how are you doing? <laughs> and then we ended up playing with Blood, Sweat, and Tears mm -hmm. shortly after that. And that kicked my ass. I mean, he, <laughs> he showed me a lot of stuff. And, and then we started playing. After I played with Miles, I played with his band for a while, which was amazing. It was just an incredible experience. Yeah, he was so, so phenomenal. <laughs> really interesting about your style is the fusing of the progressive part with the jazz part. Is your philosophy to like mix the two or do you sort of do one thing one time and like, or you, how no, do you it's approach kinda, that? No, it seems like it kind of mixes. I mean, sometimes I'll, mm -hmm. but I think the blues kind of ties that together. There's a mm -hmm. lot of blues in jazz. It's kind of the big part of the personality yeah. of that kind of music. That's it, uh, oversimplifying it in some ways, but, but there's certain, because jazz itself is a huge word, a huge mm -hmm. topic, you yeah. know what I mean? It's like, what do you mean? Louis Armstrong or Weather Report? You know what <laughs> exactly, I mean? like, right. But, but there's a lot of common stuff in mm -hmm. there, but I, I always hear the blues as kind of a common denominator between a lot of that, but a lot of music, a lot of pop music or rock or, and so, that kind of comes through, and since I play some blues and, and rock stuff, mm -hmm. some, sometimes that kind of sound, yeah. which sometimes I think sounds more like a horn player. You know, yeah. when you have a little distortion, it's more horn-like in some yeah. ways. But uh, but since I, I kind of grew up listening to, you know, Hendrix and B.B. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and B. King, Buddy Guy, and Jeff Beck, mm -hmm. and Clapton with the oh, Cream yeah. and all that, yeah. um, you got that rock yeah. background. Right? I got that. And, and, and then I, I just, when I got into bebop and more jazz, I, I heard a kind of a, or maybe it just came out kind of unconsciously. It was part of my style, so it just kind of stayed with me. Yeah, you know? interesting. And, and even people like Jim Hall, mm -hmm. who was a, a, 
amazing, just straight ahead jazz player, one of the greatest of all of all time, maybe a lot of people think, was so open to that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. He was a lot older, you know, he died not too long ago, but he was so, so open. I remember one time he called me up and he said, hey Mike, I just heard a Jeff Beck record for the very first time. I have to say, I really liked it. <laughs> and he was like a real, you know, yeah. real low-key kind of a genius a guitar, Jim Hall. It was like one of my favorites of all time mm -hmm. and always will be, you know. Your sort of diversity of influences, I think, um, I guess that's, it translates. Because I notice that sometimes when you're playing, you're going from do do ba do ba do jazz, right. and then you're just like, ring, ring, yeah, like yeah. with the Hendrix style, and I right? think I think that's what horn players do, if you listen to some. Yes. They, they you know, go to a certain point, and then they kind of, kind of hit well, a longer note, the longer notes, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. You know, they'll do more kind of a, a information in terms of, 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 of lines. Mm -hmm. And then they'll hit like strong melody notes up high and mm -hmm. really, you know, when it peaks. Yeah. And so I think that's kind of a natural, that's kind of the same thing, maybe a slightly different way of doing it, but on guitar, you know, at least that's what I'm trying to do. you about uh, what you think of the store like have, you know of, of Cosmo Music man this I came here today and I was just like wow I mean it's, <laughs> first of all it's very warm that's the first if I had to uh, uh, pick an adjective right away it's like it's a very warm vibe mm. that I got immediately you walk in here and it just is warm it's it's like yeah. it's not like one of these stores where where it's uh you just don't have a feeling like you can talk to somebody or they're running around like some stores in, in the city sometimes have gotten to be like that. This, I get a sense like you got time to try yeah. this and that and the other thing. We're all musicians. And, here, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so I get a vibe like that mm -hmm. immediately. Like these cats all play and they know what they, you know, and they're into it. And, and, mm -hmm. and then I'm looking around and this, the place is amazing. You've got all kinds of great stuff you know, <laughs> great instruments and I'm great amps and all that stuff mm -hmm. so yeah i wish there were more places like this i mean some you know they're cool places but not the same kind of level of that they're, they're few and far between like this oh. probably two or three that i know of nice. you know in the whole country mm. well thank you <laughs> thank you very much yeah it's really true your clinic was great uh your record's great uh looking forward to way more of your work. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me, man. Thank, thank you.